Hey, I'm Andrea Smith for CE Week TV. We're at CE Week 2015. Incredibly cool stuff happening here. We've been talking a lot about 3D printing, but this is amazing. I'm with David Petrino, the Director of Telemedicine at the Burke Medical Rehabilitation Institute. And this guy does incredibly amazing things with 3D printing, not just little models and phone cases, but you're printing limbs, correct? Yeah, so... Um that like was real limbs. Real limbs. And um, now we have here, it looks like a brain. A 3D printed brain. Yeah. Okay, what are so, you doing? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I mean, I've been using 3D printing for a good seven or eight years now. Um, uh, back in my research days, we used to use it to plan out surgeries. So, we um, particularly difficult surgeries, we would create a reconstruction of the skull and work out exactly how we were going to enter the skull and, and, and get at the area of brain we were trying to access. Um, and we were working with very, very crude materials that were really, really expensive. Um, but uh, as 3D printing has started to develop and you can do cooler things with it, yeah. um, I teamed up with uh, Not Impossible and I was incredibly honored to be a, a small part of their, uh, their project called Project Daniel, where we created the first self-sustaining prosthetics clinic in, in South Sudan, uh, where Mick Ebeling, the founder of Not Impossible, taught the locals to print their own prosthetics. In a, in a clinic that is, is still going on today. Such a cool use, such um, a cool use of technology. So what are you doing here with this brain? And so this is a new initiative that's going okay. on at, at Burke. And I wanna, we're just gonna kind of turn it here so people can see this, this 3D printed model of a brain, yeah. okay. So um, this is a new initiative going on at Burke and uh, this is one of our patients. A, uh, a, a, a gentleman is late 30s he uh, was, a, was training for a marathon and he actually suffered a, a major stroke. And yeah. actually what you can see here is this is taken directly from his MRI. This is the area of brain that is missing after his stroke. Wow. Now, what we're trying to do with this model is it started off, the project itself started off as a, a tissue engineering project. What, what we're trying to do is create a hyper-realistic model of the brain and then start to investigate avenues in which we can add stem cells to the system, that we can break through scar tissue, that we can start to um, set up a system that will allow new tissue to grow in this hole that is now missing in this gentleman's brain. Because frame. you're able to see a 3D printed rendering of it? Well, uh, actually, so this is our first model, but our next model that we're working on is starting to have blood vessels that you can actually pump fluid wow. through. Starting to have um, the inside of the lesion that has that takes on the the tissue conformations of scar tissue right um, areas of the brain that actually have similar sort of physical and mechanical properties to brain tissue so that we can start to investigate how we can best through either the venous system or the arterial system or even the ventricular system which is in here right how we can get the drug targets that we need to get that will promote into growth into here. That so is fascinating. Rather than doing it in the and that is such new hope for people who previously really didn't have a lot of hope. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a really ambitious project. So I'll say that going, you know, we we are uh, we're we're sort of going one step at a time right. and we're not making any promises just yet. But one thing I will say is that the first time we presented this brain to our the therapists who are treating this patient at Burke, mm -hmm. they looked at it and they were kind of blown away. They, they kind of looked at it and they went, huh, this changes the way I thought about his, his injury. This changes the way, and this is something because we didn't expect. Because they're getting a different perspective. Ordinarily. I just want to make sure that we've yeah. actually shown the inside of this. So can I, I'm just yeah, going to tip it here. And so this, this is, is like, a large lesion. That, uh, that is huge. And such an opportunity for people to really see uh, you know, the, the people working on this particular problem. This is fascinating stuff. I love talking to you, David. You guys do such cool stuff. So please check them out. Look at Not Impossible. See what they're doing. David Petrino, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Always Andrea Smith for CE Week TV.